<laughs> Time to win car bike on Woo. and then you die and I'm wearing an orange shirt. And if you guys want to find out why Kevin hates Tabasco sauce and why it may be linked to his mother, definitely watch us on Twitch. On Twitch! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? So Rob stole some of my snakes because he didn't like the fact that I had all those carpet pythons and then he bred them and now he won't give me my babies. These are my babies! They're supposed to be mine. <laughs> That'd be a good cut to like an intro. Oh yeah? Right. What it? Oh nope. Baby snakes do 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 Baby snakes do 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 Baby snakes do 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 Baby snakes. That's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> What we got right here, these are some baby Irian Jai or West Papuan carpet pythons that I just Papuan. hatched out. No, it's not Papuans. It's not Papuan python? No, it's not. And these it are was. not Papuan pythons either. They're not Papuan pythons either. These are West Papuan carpet pythons. Check that out. Look at So look at these guys when they're born, they're actually like mostly red. And then as they grow, they develop kind of like caramel colored sides and they have black markings on top. So these babies go through a pretty drastic color change as they grow and as they mature. West Papuan carpet pythons are actually one of the smallest carpet pythons. Uh, they typically, typically, only get about four and a half to five and a half feet long. So the mom of this, these snakes right here is not all that big. She's actually a, a pretty small carpet python in comparison to how big they can actually get. How many eggs did she lay, Rob? 20 eggs. Could you believe that? He didn't, he didn't want to believe me that there were going to be that was, many yeah. eggs in there. Was, I was like, <laughs> I don't know, 12. 13. Yep. He's like, no, no, no. It's going to be like 20, 20 something. Okay, so for the people in the comment section who don't have a brain and don't know how to read or listen, this is not her actual cage. Oh. No, 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 guys. He just took out the water bowl. Yeah. I promise. I mean, there's no hide spots, water dishes, or anything here. But look at all this enrichment with all this white paper. Look at that. Two sheets of white enrichment paper. It doesn't get much better than it's that. It's enrichment paper. This is the mom of those babies. So this is a West Papuan carpet python. You say anything else? Is no. the temperament good for this guy? Yeah, they're they're like one of the most laid back carpet pythons in my opinion. And you can see the babies are not very interested in biting. Even though baby carpet pythons are usually kind of nippy. Yeah, they're notoriously like to bite things. But if you take a look at those babies right there, look at look at a little baby right there. Look at the mom and baby. There we go. Oh, yeah, some thumbnail stuff. Right Please don't bite me in the face. A bite from a carpet python that size of the face would, would really. So they have bigger teeth because they, they're. Yeah, they're semi arboreal, so they've got some long teeth. She's honestly never bit me before. Oh yeah, not until. No. Not until I the say. Ones are, are generally pretty good. Yeah, not until I say, hey, she don't bite, and then <laughs> wham, wham right to the face. Do you think that snake knows that that's his baby right there? Not usually, because the I separated her out from her eggs as soon as she laid them. Yeah. So she did not stay with her eggs while they were incubating. And then uh, usually in the wild, as soon as the babies hatch out, as soon as they come out of the egg, they leave, and the mom does not take care of them. So they are completely on their own from the time that they hatch out. So when they hatch out, what do they what do they eat when they, they pop out of the egg? What do they do? At that size, they're probably looking to hunt things like little geckos, lizards, uh, frogs, oh. things like that. And then once they get a little bit bigger, they'll start eating birds, small mammals, and things like that. She does go from darker to lighter. So right now she's kind of dark. So the top of her coloration is pretty black. Uh, but at nighttime, if you check her out, a lot of times she'll be lighter colored. And those are orange and like caramel tones on the belly will really start to pop out. All right, so we're taking a look at this awesome jungle jag. This is another one of Rob's carpet pythons. So the jag gene actually originates uh, with the coastal carpet python, 
Um, and then people who wanted to see this mutation that naturally looks kind of yellowish with the coastals uh, in jungle carpets because jungles are known for their big black and yellow banding and everything. So they want to throw that into JAG and see if it would enhance the colors. And as you can see with this exceptional individual, it really did. So this is technically an integrate uh, between the coastal carpet and the jungle carpet. Um, people have been breeding them uh, for so long but with, with mostly jungle blood they're as close to pure as you can be most of them are like 93 percent jungle blood now um, which is pretty awesome uh, because usually the more jungle you get in them the more yellow they are uh, and oddly enough the same goes for eerie and giant carpets too the more uh, ij blood that exists in them uh, the more yellow they tend to be but check that out it's it's yellow What's going on guys? So if you like this video of this awesome carpet python and her babies that Rob's showing off, make sure you like the video. Make sure if you haven't already, you've subscribed. And why haven't you left us a comment already? Because that's kind of freaking important and we love reading things that you guys write. Unless you're kind of a jerk and then we just like ignore it and scroll past it. You also want to make sure that you check us out on Twitch TV uh, every Sunday and Tuesday. Make sure you follow New England Reptile on Instagram and uh, all of us on Twitter. Donnie's really great about putting all those links down below. So make sure you click and click and click until you follow us everywhere because that makes you not a garbage person. picture of her belly because uh, they generally have a pretty definitive pattern. So I lied. This is a male. So you're a boy. Hi. See that? Carapace going in. Big long tail. Beautiful. Glorious, really healthy, mosquitoes everywhere. Look at that blocky head. Hi, buddy. So I'm gonna just do a photo record because I, I do this and then give it to uh, Fish and Game because I'm trying to document this population. I'm gonna take this guy. And I'm gonna put him back right where I found him. 